some very quick questions about uh, just about Boys On. Well, let's see how well okay. you know Boys On and, uh, and a <laughs> okay, couple of the members. Okay. True or false? Boys On have had 19 singles in the top 40 UK charts and 20 singles in the Irish charts. Um, false. <laughs> <laughs> You've had 19 in the UK and 21 in Ireland. You're, you're 100% right. Okay, what was Boyzone's first UK number one single? Words. Boyzone's, Boyzone's cover of No Matter What was your best selling single in the UK. It was also the biggest ever hit on a, from a stage musical and the biggest selling single ever by an Irish act in the UK. It was a number one for you in 1998. Who wrote the song? Who wrote the original? Andrew Lloyd Webber. Bing! Uh, 1993, an advertisement appeared in many Irish newspapers calling for auditions to form a new Irish boy band. For the second audition, the applicants were asked to sing two songs, including one of their own. And uh, you sang I'm Too Sexy by Right Said Fred, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, did, uh, what song did Mikey sing? Oh my God. Oh, he's into his, uh, he's into, he's into his Motown. He probably sang a Motown track, I'd imagine. Maybe... Uh, I don't know I'd, I'd hazard a guess maybe a, a, I don't know. maybe it was a police song message in a bottle or something mm. 2 out of 3 ain't bad by Meatloaf 2 out of 3 ain't bad right <laughs> okay I didn't know that right? you can slag him about it later Absolutely. In 2008, Boyzone released the single Better. Ronan was in the paper in the Sun on December 5th, 2008 he thinks this is the band's what? band's best single ever good man yourself the band's best single to date number 6 Boyzone's third studio album Where We Belong was released in what year? Where We Belong must have been released. Uh, we broke up in 2000. We got together in 92, 93. Um, I'd hazard a guess. Um, 1990, I'd say 98, 99. Good man, 100%. 1998. We're nearly, yeah. we're nearly there. In the early days, Ronan, again, initially faced a lot of opposition from his parents and teachers. He was planning to move to New York to study in college on a sports scholarship and pursue his dream. What was his dream? To be a runner. When is Louis's birthday? Just give us the day and the month. Louis Walsh's birthday? Yeah. Oh, God. Jesus. I'm, uh, I, used to, I used to know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know. Because I remember his 40th. And I remember his 50th. So, <laughs> right. Well, look, at, I'll meet you halfway. I'll give you the month. It was August. Can you give me the day? Oh, I think it's maybe the 3rd of August. Oh, it's the 5th, I'm afraid. 5th of August there you uh, go before ever recording any material Shane Lynch and five other successful auditionees made their infamous appearance on RT's The Late Late Show with Gay Byrne where Lynch stunned an audience by doing what? grabbing his balls <laughs> <laughs> and the last question before becoming a member of Boys on Mikey was a member of a band called no idea mm. Ivory Ivory, right, okay I didn't know that <laughs> Keith Duffy you've been an absolute great sport and a gentleman you got 7 out of 10 Ah, that's not too bad. It's that's not, not too bad. I'm happy enough with that.